Hi, Hiram here. Last week I did a video where I did a burn test, a wind test rather, on the Mini Trangia with the Mojo pot stand along with the Ollie Camp windshield. Using my muffin fan, I showed you how the flames acted, protected and unprotected. Well, I had a number of people ask me, why didn't I just do a boil test? Show us what happens with a boil test. So here I am today to do that. What I've done is I'm going to use my muffin fan again, but this thing is only set for either on or off, and I showed you what the full on does. So what I did was I brought up my power stat from my electronic bench downstairs. This is like a big super light dimmer and it'll make this muffin fan run a little bit slower. I'll show you what happens. Hopefully if my editing goes right up in the corner here you'll see these flames from camera two. Now let me just let this get built up. What this uh, power stat lets me do is regulate how much electricity is going to the muffin fan so it speeds it up or slows it down accordingly. Okay, the flames look like they're going. Let me turn on the muffin fan. This is full blast. Now amazingly, the flames don't get blown out. I mean, this mini Trangia is pretty nice. Now you wouldn't be able to do much heating this way. It's way too much all the heat's coming over here. None of it, see, none of it's coming off the top. It's all off the side. So what I'll do is, I did a couple of tests to see how to take this down. I'm taking it down to about 55%. As you can see, it still blows it to the side, but not as bad. This is closer to be, I think, what it, it's like out on the trail. Any more than this isn't much fun. So I have two cups of water here setting at 59 degrees. I'll put it on this with the fan going the way it is and let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 10 minutes and we're up to 92 degrees starting from 59. That just goes to show you, I think if you look up there you'll see how the flames are all blowing to the side. The heat is to the, as you're looking at it up there, is going out to the left. Now this fan is just turned down to a nice little breeze. I mean, you'd fill it on your face, but it's not anything really bad. If I wanted to crank it up to really bad, I'd put it up to full speed. And this would be like going in a hurricane. And it still doesn't put it out. That's surprising. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put that at 55 percent. Going to let all this stuff come back down to room temperature, and I'll redo the test. Simmering. Let me just put this out. I'll let everything come down to room temperature and then I'll redo this uh, using the Ollie Camp windshield. So I'll be right back. Okay, here I'm starting test two. I refilled that. Everything cooled off to room temperature. I'm going to put the windshield around this. Oh, maybe I should start the fan first. Okay, the fan's got to come up to speed. Probably this isn't going to be a fair test. I should probably put the fan up to full speed and use this windshield and see what happens. Turn it up and then bring it down. There we go. Okay, so 
There's a flame blowing off to the left. Put the windshield on. You see how it all straightens out. Two cups of water here setting at 59 degrees. And let's see where this one goes. Okay, there we have 210. 211. 212 and 6 minutes 23 seconds. Interesting. So that time it took a little bit longer even still than the last time I did this test without the fan. I think that was something like 5 minutes 38 seconds or something. I'll check and put it on the screen here. But there you see the boil up in the upper corner. I mean the burn rather. It is waving around a little bit but uh, a whole lot less than it did without the windscreen. Let me take this off. And again, handle windscreens, whether they're metal or carbon fiber, fiber, with care. Now, I wear gloves. You know, you can do what you want to do. There you can see that the flame is burning, blowing off to the left-hand side because the fan is on the right. Okay, the results of this were then Without the windshield, two cups of water starting at 59 degrees only got up to 92 degrees in 10 minutes. This time with the windshield, starting at two cups starting at 59 degrees got to a full boil of 212 in 6 minutes and 23 seconds. So you can see that windshields, windscreens are a necessary thing. You need to have these out when you're out on the trail. Because this, coming off this fan now, is just a slight breeze. It would be a nice breeze on your face. And it's enough to blow this flame around. <clears throat> so I hope that, hope this helps the people that asked for this. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.